Hello chess friends, welcome back to another day of the chess grind. I was just recording a video and I lost to this play. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can redeem this game a little bit here. I haven't uploaded in about four or five days, I believe. Uh, if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm kind of just getting over a cold and everyone in my house has been sick. So it's been a rough couple of days for me. I probably won't be able to deliver my best performance today. Um, but I don't want to end my day on uh, losing to a game in five moves. So here we are. We're playing Guy from Palestine. Right. Just go ahead and castle. I have a chance to. Uh, looks like I just gave up my pawn. I really shouldn't be playing today, man. Uh, I should not be playing today. I definitely should not be playing today. Uh, rough day, rough day. It's okay. Better days are ahead. That's what I tell myself, at least. I'm just going to keep believing that. Maybe he just forgets that his knight is under attack here on e4. That'd be nice. That would be pretty cool. Cool, cool, cool. Pretty straightforward so far. Um, It looks like I can... Attack his knight on c5 there. Yeah, it's defended. But I wonder if there's a better way. Hmm. I suppose I could go after his queen, huh? Mess up his pawn structure a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. I'll probably just take out his bishop. I think I'll just attack his knight. I see, I see. So let's see if this... If I go b3, he could push a pawn, attack me here. I guess I can just fall back. Uh, I'll just fall back to b3. He might go a5 with his knight here. And if he goes a5, I'll actually just let him capture the bishop and then just recapture with the a-pawn there. Um, he could also just plain take this with his c5 knight as well. Um, either way, I've kind of come to realize that the engine doesn't mind retaking the knight on b3 as white, at least. Um, for some reason, the engine always likes this move if the opponent goes b3, and then you recapture with the a-pawn. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Okay, any reason not to take here? And we can just trade off queens if he does this. Um, I'll just retake the pawn, why not? I know he can recapture with the knight there on d8, but maybe that's okay. My e4 pawn is hanging at the moment. Okay, cool. I wasn't really expecting him to do that, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, so what is he scheming? Hmm. I really thought he would have just taken the bishop there. Um, I guess this kind of sets me up for a nice fork on his knights. d5 is protected by the queen. Any reason why I don't do that? Hmm. I think I'm just going to go for the fork here. Yeah, 
Yeah, queen's protecting d5. This seems okay. If his knight wasn't on c6 here, I would have a pretty slick move attacking his um, his king, putting him into check, and then assuming his knight wasn't here, I could just recapture or just capture his queen really, and then his knight would his knight his king would be on f7 and he wouldn't be able to retake the queen. But um, hmm. let's think about this. What is he going to do? This, this puts me in an interesting position because I can deliver him check with c6. He'll be forced to either block with the bishop, which I don't think is a good move, or recapture with the pawn. Um, and then I do have the option of taking his queen after that. Which I think will be a pretty good move for me, considering that um, that will stack his pawns. Yeah, so this is check here. He'll stack his pawns, and then um, I could go for his queen. Maybe there's a better move, but I think, honestly, the queen trade's going to be pretty good here. I doubt he'll block with the bishop. This game's been a little bit too aggressive for my liking, like right off the bat. Um, but I think it all kind of stemmed from me making that one little mistake at the beginning. Yeah, so I think the queen trade is is the play here. I need to keep in mind that my knight is hanging here. Yeah, I can just deliver some forcing moves here. I mean, I can pin his knight. I can more or less develop my rook here. Um, it's just a little bit of a forcing move here. Not a huge one, yeah, but still forcing move nonetheless. Mm, he's got a pawn hanging here. I could go after it. Hmm. I'd rather just hmm. I wonder if I should just develop continue developing. Hmm. Yeah, and this is not a pin anymore. So let's see. I think I will just develop here. I need to just always remember that this knight is hanging at the moment. Yeah. Okay, that was kind of expected. Actually, both of my knights are hanging, which is a bit of a problem. So we're still even on material. I don't know who has the better position. I think I have the better position here right now, um, just because I don't have these uh, pawns doubled up. Um, I do have a free pawn here. Let's see, what's his plan here, really? Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to go for the free pawn, right? Just seems like it makes too much sense. Yeah, both of his pawns. He has three hanging pawns here. <clears throat> I guess I'll just snag one. A7, free pawn. I'll take it. I'm guessing he'll go A8 with his rook. Uh, I'd be shocked if he did anything else. Oh, okay. Well, that's a fair move, too. Yeah, that was pretty good. This disconnects his rooks, too, uh, which I think is good. I can always attack his knight here as well.
Hmm. I do have a rook on the open file. I need to keep that in mind. I think I'll just attack his knight. Yeah, attacking the knight seems fine on f6. His position's pretty bad on this side of the board for him. My main weaknesses right now are my knights. <laughs> At some point, I probably want to scoot this rook over to e1 to just line it up with the king. Yeah, I mean, I could pin his uh, bishop here as well. And then eventually I'd like to move this rook over as well to d1. Um, that would be ideal. Still can't believe I lost to that last game with the queen and the bishop pointing to f7. That's uh, such an amateur thing. <laughs> Seems so silly to lose to that, but what can you do? Okay, so he did find my hanging piece. Let's see, it seems like almost no matter where I move it to, uh, I think e2 is really my only play here, right? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I just go for the trade. Mm, no, I'd rather not go for the trade. I could always take his knight. Um, the position seems very open right now, so I think I'd rather just keep the bishops. Either e2 or b1. Or a4, but a4 just seems bad. I think I'll just go to e2 and just play a central move. At some point, I need to just create an escape square for the king as well. Make sure I don't get back ranked. He's got two rooks, so I have to keep that in mind. My plan of pinning his bishop on the e-file is not going to work so much. Uh, I probably just need to attack his bishop next move on a3 with the pawn. Can I get it? Mm -hmm. He's still got a handful of weak pawns, d6 and g7. How can I go after those? I think this bishop is an immediate threat, so I'd rather just attack it. Yeah, to be fair, stacking these pawns would probably be okay. I don't really want to lose a bishop, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, hmm. Ninety-five. Ninety-five seems okay. Ninety-five. He might be forced to take. I can take back. And then his knight is under attack. Ideally, I'd like to get this knight over to d4 at some point. b3 is defended. a3 is defended. I think I'll just play e5. If he chooses not to take here, I can always take his c6 pawn as well, which I think would be reasonable. Um, that would put me plus two in material. 
which I would be happy about. It's an interesting move too. I could always fall back to like B2. This doesn't really matter where I fall back to. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I need to keep this knight defended, so either B2 or C3. Probably doesn't matter too much, huh? Hmm. I think C3 is fine. I'll just keep it centralized. I do have the option of c6 next move. I don't think that would really attack anything. I think if all my pieces are just safe on the next move, I would just push h3. And that would probably be reasonable. I'm still hoping that he just takes the knight here. So he's got two bishops and a knight, and I have two knights and a bishop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this probably just forces me to fall back to b2 with the bishop, right? Or I could just... No, I can't trade off, huh? Bit of a forcing move there on his part. I'm still thinking if knight c6 accomplishes anything. I don't think it does. It seems like a good position, it just doesn't attack anything. It's the only problem, and then if I try to get out, I'll be in trouble. Okay. So I might just be forced to go there. Yeah, I don't love this square for the knight. Um, it seems like he could just trap it really easily with the rook, and then I really just don't have a way to get out, so I think I have to play it safe and just go something like f3 or d3. Could also go c4. Hmm. I was thinking at some point, you know, I was just thinking about how I could possibly get a fork on f6, but then his knight's defending it. I know the pawn's defending it, but I have the bishop pointing there as well. I was thinking if some bishop sacrifice were to make sense at some point, I don't know. Guys, will have to excuse me. I'm still coughing up a storm here. My rook's really inactive, so at some point I probably need to get the rook a little bit more active. Hmm. Let's 
think. Um, I think now it's time for the escape square. Yeah, I kind of figured he would do that. I think he's just trying to trade off pieces. Hmm. I wonder if I just take here, honestly. I think I'm going to take... If I, I know he'll just recapture with the Rook, but then I think his Rooks are just going to be in really bad spots anyway. So if he takes with the Rook, I'll just jump back to D2. I think it's a bit of a forced move. He could also take with the Light Square Bishop too. Mm, which I th think he's going to do. Because at that point, my, pawn, my, uh, my G Pawn is going to be pinned. I wonder if I could force his rook into a bad spot somehow. Mm. I think his position is kind of better here now at this point. Yeah, I'm expecting this move next. Bishop g4. Yeah. And the, this pawn is pinned. I think that's the main problem we're facing now. Now his bishop just has eyes on all these pieces, which is really good for him. Hmm. I just need to force him into something else. Hmm. Maybe I just go protect. Maybe I go protect f3 with the rook. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, he's got a couple pieces on my side of the board. So I want to neutralize them without opening up the G file. His knight is really weak here, but I just haven't been able to find a great way to attack it. I think he has a pretty good move here if he just goes pawn c4. This will force my rook somewhere. And then what's the move after that? Yeah, his pawn can take, takes, and then his rook comes into play. Um, I think that's a good move for him. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> he found it. Then again, I could always pin his knight here. Yeah, oh right, so then if I retake, um, he has eyes on my bishop, but I think I'm going to play something slightly more forcing. Rook e3, that opens up the potential for check. Hmm. No, I can't push this up. I think rook e3 is going to have to be the play here, huh? There's going to be some damage done if he takes here. If I go e3 and he takes, and I take back, he's just going to put his rook here. But even that would be okay, because then I have defense on it. I think this is the move. He'll probably have to fall back, I, I imagine. 
with his bishop to protect e4. I've been eyeing f6 for a while, but his knight... Hmm. I guess maybe before... Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what this opens up. Hmm. What does that open up for me? Could always trade off bishops here, since his knight is pinned. I could always push this up as well. I don't want to do this. This bishop's really valuable. Maybe I just trade off bishops here. Oh, but even then, he can just take it, take my knight with his bishop. If I were to go e5. I just want to get this bishop out of the way, you know. Hmm. F3 is protected. This doesn't really force anything either. Maybe I just go protect E2. I'm going to go protect E2 and then just put double the rooks up on the same file as his king. I really just have to get rid of these two threats though. He's eyeing my rook. That's a good move by him. Maybe I protect. Now we do the procedure. Block. I blocked my bishop in there. I don't know if that's good or not. Probably not. His knight is still pinned, I need to remember that. On e4, he has a pinned knight. At some point, I probably should move my king over too. I need to be careful about pre-moves. I have pre-moves turned on, and I've been clicking the pieces a lot. <laughs> I need to make sure not to pre-move a piece. I think he has a really good move, pawn f4. Um, this would trap my rook, if I'm not mistaken. At the very minimum, it would allow him to capture the knight. Uh, but then it would allow... No, maybe that's not the best move. Because then that would allow check for me with my rooks. Hmm. I suppose after this move, I do have a chance to get this knight out of trouble off of f3 and start moving it around. Interesting. That may be a little bit of a trap. Um, and I would really love to just get a knight onto f6 here, but how are we going to do that? All the possible squares are taken. Hmm. I do have a free pawn here now. Actually, I kind of like this fork on the pawns. Ninety-five attacks both these pawns here. Um, I'll probably go for 
the C4 pawn first. It's a lot more annoying because um, there's basically two pieces pointing at B3. Interesting. Okay, so this removes the pin. Um, I think I kind of have to attack that though, right? I think I just have to attack this. Probably with this piece here. As much as I would love to get rid of this pawn, Maybe I do still just get rid of this pawn though, right? Because it is still a bit annoying. But even now, it's not as annoying. I'm just going to go for the attack on the rook. I can always fork his knight and his uh, bishop here as well. I think that's a viable play. Probably force his knight to run away. Well, let's think. His knight can't go here. His knight could go... Yeah, so his knight can't go c3. It could go d2. And it can't go g3, and it can't go f2. So he'd only have one viable square to jump to, really. Hmm. This is check, and there's another force check as well. I like the fork idea. There is also this attack on the bishop here on b4 as well at some point. My knight's hanging here, I can't forget that. I think he'll go d2. He kind of has to. Well, he could go d6 as well. If he goes d6, I could always fork this way. Oh, interesting. That's actually kind of a problem. That is a very forcing move. Um, probably leaves me no choice but to defend that, right? I have to defend. Pawn takes on e4. Has to be the next move. I do have a trade though too. Oh, yes, this is a... Well, actually, no, this is fine. This is protected. Maybe he'll fall for this trap. I don't think he will. I have a really juicy pawn move. Although that does remove the pin. Well, not necessarily, because then I can just retake. But I have to be really careful, though, of this threat. Maybe moving the king at some point, too. Maybe, like, king f2. Probably be a safe move. Yeah, my king's been on the same file as his rook for a really long time. What do you guys think? Uh, I'll throw it out to the crowd.
Is it better to just make a safe move at some point and just move your king off of the same file as the rook? Like in this game, his king has been on the same file as my doubled rooks for a really long time, and my king's been on the same file uh, as his rook for a really long time. So is it better just to make a move like this? Mm, this is under attack. I really don't want to lose this knight, but I really would like to take his knight too. I think I'd rather just take his knight. Um, yeah, it's a knight trade, but then I can always take a pawn and get a discovered check. And that would kind of force his bishop to move as well. Okay. So now I can get my rooks into the action, and then I can get my knight out of trouble as well. I do have to remember, though, that this it, it removes a defender off of this square, so I have to be super careful. So I go here. Where does it really force him? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I do leave this and just keep the knight in play, huh? Tricky. Tricky, tricky. It's not quite checkmate if he takes here, but it's going to be really close. Then how do I follow this up? And I would just love to get on f6 with the knight. Mm. Yeah, I have to reroute this knight somehow. I don't know. I just think the knight's going to be too valuable here. Oh my, that was a huge blunder. <laughs> that was a huge blunder, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that was a blunder of a lifetime. Okay. How are we going to do this? Well, I have a lot of opportunities to get a passed pawn here. I don't really want to trade the rooks off on the e file, too, because of this threat. So maybe it is time to just move the king. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this pin. I know this kind of gives him a free pawn, um, but I'd rather go for this fork with the king. I think I can always route my king into this little cubby hole too. He's got a free pawn there. Yeah, I definitely blundered that bishop there. That was probably my worst move, I imagine, the whole game. I 
He'll be forced to move his rook here. Um, surprised he hasn't just plain done that already. He's probably just trying to figure out where to where to go with it. Um, either way, I think I'm winning his pawn. Although I have to be really careful here because he has the F and the D files kind of protected, so. Um, Mm, do I just trade off here? I wonder if I just trade off. I don't want to put my kings like out into the open so much. Yeah, because I can't really run my king. I'll just offer the trade with the rooks. We'll see if he accepts it. If he does accept it, I'll take with the knight and then just take the pawn. It'd be kind of sad if this game came down to time. I'm trying to play these longer games to not lose on time, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to play like more accurate moves. I think I've done a decent job of that. This game, minus that one bishop blunder. I'm surprised he didn't go for that. Hmm. I'll just go for the trade. Which way do I want to check him? It has to be the rook. Uh, pretty sick fork here, not gonna lie. Takes, tax. Okay. Hmm. I could have attacked his rook there too. Should be able to get a pass pawn. I don't think there's any reason why I won't be able to get a pass pawn. Okay, this is good. Mm, that's fine. I'll just attack his king. This is fine. Should be okay. This should be just a queen and two moves. Hmm. Hmm. I'll defend. Where's he gonna go? He's probably gonna go here, right? Think, think, think. I do have a check here. Kind of want to just defend this pawn, though. Hmm. 
I really don't want to lose this in the end game. This would just be so embarrassing. Did I have a check here as well? I wonder if that was a better move. What would have allowed me to move my king up one more square? I really don't want to lose this game. It'd be kind of funny if he lost this one on time too. Um, let's see. I think I'll just try this and get my king up. Um, right, this will let him... Hmm. What's the play here? Yeah, it would be funny if he lost on time. <laughs> I don't think he will, but <laughs> I think he's just going to take this pawn at this point. Oh, really? Let's see. It has to be this, right? Could do it like a six gear here at some point. Um, I'm thinking e7, c7, and then the king can move up and I can promote. Ninety percent sure he's gonna go d, d file. Okay. Maybe I just sack the rook at some point. Yeah, okay. I was kind of expecting him to do that. Um, let's see, if I sack this pawn, he'll get my rook, but I can get the other pawn promoted, right? If I sack this way, I don't think that's the play. I think I just have to sack this pawn. Oh no, which way do I go here? I think I have to sack this pawn. Yeah, so now he takes. Now I get a pawn. He's probably just playing for stalemate at this point. This video is running really long. Props if you're still here. You're a, you're a true fan, a true trooper. Let me know who you are in the comments so I can give you a virtual high five. Um, I I mean I imagine he's gonna try to go for this pawn, but I don't I don't think that's gonna end so well. He was probably hoping I wouldn't see that. Um, and now I just get the promotion. Okay, so I kind of calculated that right. Um, I'll just go get another queen, why not? Get some pre-moves going there. Now we just make sure we don't stalemate. Let's see, how do we want to do this?
Um, I really don't want a stalemate here. There's a possibility for stalemate in the corner here, but I really don't really don't want that to happen. Yeah, I wish he kind of would honestly have just resigned at this point. Oh, this is kind of nice. This will force him to the other side of the board so I don't have to worry about the king. Probably be forced here. I can go g5. Okay. This is really testing my. Um, let's see. This will force him over to G3. Oh no, he can't go G3. He'll probably have to go G4. Or G2. So force him to h2 or h1. I'm just trying to avoid a, a draw here so hard. I really don't want to lose this on a draw. I don't want to burn an hour for a draw, you know. And this is just gg. Yeah, cool. Yeah, gg. Yeah, I wish he would have resigned there a little bit earlier, but whatever. Um, This video is running really long, so um, I'm just going to do a really fast game review. So it looks like I didn't have any blunders. Had a few misses. Had a couple great moves and a lot of best moves. Yeah, I'm overall pretty happy with this game. I think I had, yeah, so one, one bad pawn move at the start there. Um, it looks like I found this fork idea. I just kind of found it too late. Um, I should have spotted it earlier. That the bishop could have forked these two. I probably would have been in a much better position if I did that earlier. Kind of a long game, but a fun game. Yeah, so I found the fork eventually here. And that was a good move. The queen trade was a good move. Looked like the engine wanted to take this pawn here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I was contemplating a4 with the knight there, but I don't know. It just seemed less ideal. Uh, I guess, yeah. So knight a4 and then knight c4, forking these two. If he takes, I can take back. Possibility there. A3 is an inaccuracy. He ignored an opportunity and eventually went a pawn. Probably. This seemed like the only reasonable move to go to. Hmm. It looks like Engine wanted me to move my king off of the G file like a lot earlier. Yeah, I'm glad I found this rook move. Um, this one was kind of hard for me to spot, but I'm glad I found that. Or I'm glad I found putting the rook onto the third rank. Um, because yeah, this pawn was pinned, so this knight just needed an extra defender. So that was a little tough to spot, but I'm kind of glad that I found that. Looks like the engine really wanted him to take there. This takes an open file. Nice. Hmm. Pawn takes knight. Interesting. Yeah, I should have done that, huh? Right, that would have put me in a much better position. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of overlooked that. And I largely overlooked the fact that um, 
this bishop was hanging. Yeah, I guess in retrospect, I should have saved the bishop. I was so focused on the fact that the knight was attacked here that I kind of forgot that this bishop was under attack too. Um, but I think in these big open position games, the bishop would have been more valuable. Ah, uh, yeah, so I should have just gone for the trade earlier. Well, I didn't really want to do that because... He had, he had rook on g2, so I didn't want to lose that pawn. I thought that pawn was kind of valuable. But it looks like the engine still puts me quite a bit ahead here. Oops. Let's just find some key moments. This video is really long. I don't want it to run this long. <laughs> Let's see, so pawn push here. Oh, sure, sure. So even if he takes. Then I had mate in six. Looks like I had a really early mate here. Uh, so pushing the pawn, yeah, just giving another defender to this pawn. That does make sense. I overlooked that quite a bit. Yeah, it was all kind of over here anyway. So what could I have really done different this game? Looks like I could have found a mate a little bit faster. Um, I had a knight and a bishop that was forked, and I probably should have taken the the bishop. Chose to save the bishop over the knight. And I think those are really just kind of the main key mistakes. I missed the fork with the bishop and the two knights at the very beginning of the game. Um, I could have found that earlier, so that would have been a good move. But over and maybe I could have moved the knight off of the same file as his rook at some point. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this game. Kind of wish the opponent would have resigned a little bit earlier. It was kind of obvious who was going to win, but it looked like he was just playing for stalemate. So, um, either way, uh, GG, Gee89, and uh, see you guys tomorrow.